Well, a couple of years ago, we observed that Price, as an organization, is heavily involved in many other organizations such as ASHRAE and Center for the Built Environment. We also participate a lot in uh, conferences, scientific conferences, and we had a, a huge foundation of technical content anyway from our old catalog. Finding a way to bring all that information together and make it accessible to the engineering community, they would benefit from, from our experience essentially. Ironically, most mechanical engineering degrees don't have a comprehensive HVAC program. My university, for example, had a single course that was optional. If you're moving into the HVAC industry, chances are you haven't really had much um, theoretical foundation apart from the fundamental courses. So this was also seen as a, a way to bridge the gap between theory and practice. This sort of presents the fundamental materials in a way that could be readily applied in a building design. When I was in school learning how to do HVAC, it really wasn't a focus of most of the college curriculum. And when we started looking for answers on problems, it's very challenging to find those references. The older generation has all the rules of thumb. Um, they've learned them the hard way. This book will be very relevant to the new engineer. As he comes out of school, transfer of knowledge will be very important to him. This book, I expect, will supplant quite a few of the older industry uh, references since it's a compiled and concise version. It's a good thing for us in the long run. I am very excited about it. It's been well received thus far. Putting together a textbook of this magnitude was no easy task. With many of the elements being built from scratch, this required us to work very closely with our engineering team here at Price. This is the story of how the handbook was made.